Another positive is that the design is actually quite good. These headphones look so good, I actually want to pick them up and use them. And the comfort level on these guys is really, really good. I found that I could easily go three to four hours of, of listening sessions without getting any air strain or discomfort. Now, I did find that after about four to four and a half hours, five hours, it did get a little bit uncomfortable. But I don't know anybody who's really sitting there one session at a time and going straight through. Um, uh, past, past three to four hours, I can't really think of anybody that does that unless you're a DJ or an audio professional or you're a film producer and you're making videos, then <clears throat> you may be doing something like that before a regular consumer like myself, um, three to four hours, almost five hours of extended listening is pretty good before it gets uncomfortable. So that's a nice positive there. But also on the same token, that can be a negative because, again, as I've said, there are some people out there who do use their products for long periods of time. So the fact that it gets uncomfortable after about four and a half, five hours, that may be a negative as well. Keep in mind, this is just in my opinion. Your results may vary. Like I said, it got uncomfortable for me, but it may not get uncomfortable for you. So that's a positive and a negative that. Alright, and the other positive is that you do have a built-in microphone so you can make and receive phone calls and the mic quality again on these headphones is quite good. And I had again no issues with voice commands or anything of that nature and the built-in um, functions on the headphones, the ability to uh, Call and redial and all that good stuff is also another positive there because some headphones don't have that. So, that pretty much runs through all of the positives. Now, when we talk about the negatives, I have to say that there's really only two, well, three that stood out to me. Number one is the charge times. The charge times, in my opinion, could have been a little bit faster or at least exactly what the manufacturer quoted but we do I just want to stress to you guys that that's an estimate it's not a, I'm not sure if it's exactly tested but I do believe that that's an estimate but it would have been nice if it was actually charged as the manufacturer said so exactly at three hours but again it did not so that's a negative there Another negative is the fact that you do get a lot of distortion and crackliness at the higher volume. Now it is good until you max the headphones out, you got the digital the digital volume max, you got the headphones phys physically maxed out at, at 13 clicks, which is the max clickage for these headphones. Then you'll start to hear a little bit of distortion and a little bit of crackliness on that high end. So that is a negative there. <clears throat> and again, uh, another negative but also a positive is the comfort level. Now for me, I actually said that they're quite comfortable, but if you use these for extended listening, they will start to get a little bit uncomfortable, at least in my opinion, at about the four and a half hour mark to the five hour mark. So yeah, you just want to just want to throw that out there. If you do use it for extended listening, it will get very uncomfortable, at least in my opinion. So, oops, don't want to get that in the frame. Don't worry about that, guys. So, that pretty much covers the positives and the negatives of the headphone. Of the headphones, sorry. Now, moving on, we've reached the end of the video, guys. Uh, I do want to say thank you for those of you who hung in this long. I know this one is a little bit longer than usual, but it is what it is. I'm trying to pack in everything you guys need to know before you guys go ahead and spend your hard-earned money. So now we've reached the end of the video, and now I want to just talk about the price and give you guys my final thoughts and a recommendation or two. So I picked these guys up via Amazon, and I paid about 40 bucks. 
40 bucks flat. And keep in mind, I do have Amazon Prime, so I do get free two-day shipping. And if you do not, you may actually end up paying a little bit more. And keep in mind, you may end up paying taxes wherever applicable. So your prices may vary. But my overall price that I paid for these guys was exactly 40 bucks. After taxes and shipping and handling, it was exactly 40 bucks. And you guys may be wondering. Again, I picked these up via Amazon and it came very quickly. And these are available um, on eBay and other places like that as well. As well as directly from the manufacturer on the manufacturer's website. All links to where to purchase this guy will be down in the video description. So if you are interested, please check that out down in the description. So, you guys may be wondering, after everything that I covered in this video, do I recommend that you guys spend 40 bucks and pick up these headphones? And I'm going to have to say, guys, yes. Yes. You will not be disappointed in these headphones at all. Maybe in the build quality um, spectrum because y'all like myself don't like that rattling and creaking but from an overall functionality and usage standpoint I can easily recommend this. Easily. This is probably one of the best $40 purchases that I've done to date because everything works and it works how it's supposed to and I literally had no issues. So, yes guys, I can easily recommend that you guys go out there and pick these guys up and you guys should be really, really happy with it. And keep in mind, if you aren't, you do have warranties. You have a, um, you have a return policy, which I think is like 14 days. You have Amazon, Amazon's 30-day warranty. If you pick it up from eBay, you'll have 30-day warranty as well as 14-day money back warranty and I do believe the manufacturer offers warranty as well I want to say it's 12 month warranty for the manufacturer but don't quote me on that so if you don't enjoy these headphones you can easily send them back and get your refund but again in my opinion I can easily recommend that you guys pick these up and you should be very pleased anyways guys that pretty much does it for this full review I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please help your boy out and give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you get notified as soon as I post new videos. Also, don't forget that all links to where to purchase this guy at some really great prices will be down in the video description. And as always, if you know anyone out there looking for some high quality, affordable devices and products at some really great prices, please share with them my channel because I'm doing this for everyone because we all deserve the best. Also guys, please let me know how the audio sounds and how the video looks because this is again being shot at 4K resolution at 30 frames a second on the Moto G 5 Plus. So please let me know that down in the comments. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.